Okay. What's going on, everybody? Jeremiah Vegan. I'm your host that does the most. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to actually find your target audience when you are looking to land more clients and sell more products. This is going to be straightforward, straight to the point. If you guys aren't familiar with who I am, again, my name is Jeremiah with JeremiahVegan.com. We are a digital marketing agency for solopreneurs, personal brands, and small businesses. We specialize in generating leads for uh, B2B companies primarily so they could uh, get more leads and focus on growing their business. And we do this by running LinkedIn campaigns. And we also do social media management where we manage social media accounts. I'm going to talk to you guys about how to actually find your target audience. One of the common mistakes that I come across is that a lot of people who offer a service, especially when it comes to B2B based companies, they often do not have a target audience. So if you offer, for example, a digital marketing agency like myself, or you do some type of consulting where you deal with other businesses, it is very beneficial for you to have a target audience, meaning who do you want to actually speak to, all right? For example, I work with a lot of loan brokers, which if you are not familiar with a loan broker, a loan broker pretty much is those people that help you find funding. A lot of them are independent contractors, so they help find funding for small businesses or different businesses, right? And when I ask them, who's your target audience, they say, well, we pretty much work with anybody who qualifies. While your service can apply to anybody, it is very essential for you to actually have a target audience on who you want to actually pursue. That way you can base your mission statement, you can word your copy towards that specific demographic. So the chances of you converting them as a potential client or customer is a lot more likely because you are going to resonate with them. You're gonna increase the chances of with them resonating. Whenever you can resonate with someone where you can actually speak on their key points or their pain points, you are, are a lot likely, or you, most of the times you're gonna get them into, um, I'm not gonna say most of the time, but a lot of the times you're going to increase your chances of them uh, of them doing business with you okay you want to always make sure you hit your pain points all right the best way to do that is if you actually target a specific demographic let me give you an example if you're in the b2b industry where you work with business owners let's say you're a web designer i don't see enough web designers do this a web designer or seo expert somebody who does search engine optimization they should all be doing this target a specific industry Okay, if you're a web designer, and let's say you want to target, I personally think that you should target something that you are the most familiar with or an industry that you are the most interested in other than your own industry, if that makes sense. So if you're a web designer, and let's say you are interested in real estate, you could target real estate real estate investors, realtors, anybody who could potentially use your services, all right? So you can actually target realtors, real estate investors in a certain industry, okay? Once you do that, you can just say that you're a web designer. Whenever you are in your bio, whenever you're marketing, especially if you're a personal brand, if you're going to market yourself as a web designer, you can easily say, I help web designers land more deals, close more on houses with web design. See what I did? That's just an example, but you can actually word it on your bios, on your LinkedIn profile, um, on different pages, because you are actually um, speaking to a particular audience. Now, people may say, well, I don't want to just speak to one person. I want to speak to everybody. Well, that is nice. I'm glad you are, um, are thinking that way. And you can do that. Realistically, you can do that. But just because you narrow down who your target, your target audience is, doesn't mean that you don't have to do business in any other industry. That just means that you have a focal point. You have a focus point. So if you are a virtual assistant where you do um, 
virtual work for different employees, you need to figure out how many business, how many companies, for one, how big are the companies you work with? Do you want to work with big businesses? Do you want to work with small businesses? Who do you want to work with? And then you actually go out on a hunt at that point. So you're going to narrow down as specifically as possible as long as there is a, a audience there for the type of service that you offer. You can narrow it down as much as you possibly can and then create your copy, your headline, your bio, your mission statement based around that industry's pain point, based around your target audience pain point. Okay? So, for example, if you're a virtual assistant, let's say you want to target people who need virtual assistants the most. I keep using real estate because that's real popular. Uh, let's say you want to be a virtual assistant for dentists, okay? For the dentist industry. You can target the dentist. You can do this easily on LinkedIn, which we can do the lead generating for you if you're interested in that, but I'm not trying to sell you. That's something that we can do for you. You can target on LinkedIn. You can use like Sales Navigator, which is the paid version of LinkedIn. And you can actually target the company size of the office. It doesn't have to be dentists, the dentist. It can be um, any. It can be any other industry, but you can actually target this the industry. And let me actually show you. If I go to LinkedIn, if I click on Sales Navigator, this is the paid version of LinkedIn, which is 80 bucks. Or you can try it for free for 30 days and then what I'm gonna do is I can go over to uh, advanced search for leads and then once I go over to search for leads the profile filter is gonna pop up and then I'm going to actually be able to see what who I want to target so this helps you and this actually can increases the conversion rate of you landing more clients because you are able to actually speak to a particular industry so why so if they visit your profile you want to make sure your profile is optimized if you want to use LinkedIn which I highly recommend if you are in the B2B niche you can easily say in your profile who you target okay so mine isn't a good example but just as an example you can go to profile you can go to your profile and you can say if you do website design you can say um, I help clients a web designer for real estate agents or virtual assistant for um, for dentists allowing them to get more customers for the office using this this and this when you and then what what you can do is you can say in a few words what it is that you do. A lot of people put their title there. You can do it. You can do that depending on how you how you go about it, how you word it, because you don't want it to be too long, and you kind of want to make it clear and straight to the point as possible. So you can say web designer for dentists helping you get more customers something like that that's bad copy but that's just to give you an example and then what you can do is you can actually elaborate on that in the bio a lot of people don't take advantage of the headline or the bio so if they're interested if you get them right there okay like okay I'm intrigued you can get them right at the first line and then you can go down and elaborate and then say if you do web, do web design for real estate agents Get, allowing them to close more deals and you can speak their language it's important for you to actually know the language that your industry your target audience is in so you would know what their pain points and you can easily look up this information what are some of the common problems that most people in your niche have that face and you can even talk about that in the bio and how you can actually solve their problem because at the end of the day you're solving someone's problem all right so boom I mine is for example I generate leads and manage your social media accounts lead generated and social media strategists that's mine and I have my phone number a lot of people may put their Upwork profile you could put your calendar in your bio depending on how long it is and you can use this under your discretion because I didn't look up the the policies and procedures so just keep that in mind I didn't look that up but I think it's okay and then what you can do is you can elaborate so look, I got my title and then I elaborate. Do not focus on prospecting and marketing 
As the business owner and entrepreneur, your only goal should be to speak to your leads and build your business. Do you need to scale, build your brand, and generate leads? So I'm asking a question for them to answer subconsciously. And then one thing that I could have done better is that I can actually find a way to actually specify who I want to target. Right now, I don't have a specific audience that is known to the public. But I do target a lot of loan brokers because I enjoy helping them the most. Loan brokers, but I can help anybody in the B2B niche. So hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. LinkedIn is a huge part of you in the B2B niche. But at the end of the day, if you are not in the B2B niche and you want to actually get more sales for customers or clients, whatever the case may be, you need to find out who your target audience is. People may say, well, how do I find out who my target audience is? I'm not sure. If it's not a specific demographic, let's say um, you are um, selling bags. They're like, well, well, what kind of bags are you selling? Okay, that's the first question that you need to ask. The next question that you need to ask is, who buys these kind of bags? Who buys these kind of bags? The best way for you to find out who, these, who buys these kind of bags is so you can actually follow the pages or hashtags, however you want to word it, of people who already follow that kind of product. You can go to popular pages on Facebook, you can go to popular pages on Instagram and actually figure out who finds who, who finds interest in that certain product. You can even go on Pinterest and see who likes that kind of stuff, okay? So actually find out who like the kind of stuff that you already are doing, okay? Find your target audience based on what they like. Now, your target audience may not be people that buy it, buy the stuff that you necessarily um, are looking to sell, but they are still your target audience. If they still, as long as a page has your target audience, you could market to them accordingly. You can reach out to them. You can have somebody else do it. Here's another thing. If a lot of this stuff is time consuming for you, outsource it. And it's not always expensive. Like for example, a, lot of, a great way of building your brand organically, on Instagram especially, is if you actually connect with the people who are in your realm, in your industry, in your niche, okay? So you can go under hashtags and you can actually um, find, comment on the top post on Instagram. And I know I'm kind of going over the place, but I'm trying to give you guys as much value as I possibly can. But you can actually go into the hashtags under Instagram, comment on the top post, and give value leave meaningful comments when i say meaningful comments i'm not talking about good job i love it i'm not talking about regular stuff i mean add value continuously do this every day on the top post you're going to get or organic following plus you can do other things to actually build on your brand as well all right now people may say well that's time consuming i don't got time to post every day you need to hire someone like me obviously to actually do this for you or you can go on Upwork or Fiverr put it you can go on Fiverr and do like a custom offer and you can ask somebody to actually do this for you and it's not expensive you can probably do this with a hundred bucks a month or less you can do it on an as-needed basis whenever you have the funds if funds is an issue for you in that regards so hopefully this gives you guys some value as far as how to find your target audience and I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, if you like um, to uh, if you like to hear about how you can generate leads for your business and grow it and other kinds of entrepreneurial related stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the Jeremiah Vegan channel. Subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. I do a video once a week. Talk to you soon.